Researchers and artists around the world have been using StyleGAN 2 to do all kinds of interesting work. At NVIDIA, we've been pushing the frontier of using GANs to synthesize extremely realistic images. The catch is that you need to train them on extremely large quantities of data. You might need 50,000, 100,000 images to produce a modern, high-quality, high-resolution GAN. And often, that quantity of images is simply not available. So to tackle this challenge, we've invented a new approach for StyleGAN 2 that we call Adaptive Discriminator Augmentation, or ADA. ADA is a training protocol. The idea is to augment training images with random distortions so that the network never sees the same exact image twice. Instead, it sees one that's been flipped or rotated or moved or has the colors adjusted. So by applying these augmentations adaptively, the GAN learns not to synthesize those distortions into the image, but instead to synthesize the original images. This lets us reduce the number of training images by a factor of 10, a factor of 20 or more, while still getting great results. This means GANs can tackle tougher problems, where the vast quantities of data that we needed before are either too expensive or simply not possible to obtain. So for example, artists can recreate the style of rare works, where you don't need tens of thousands of images by a particular artist or a particular medium to train on. Medical experts could produce all kinds of diverse data to build computer models, to train others, to accelerate the diagnoses of rare pathologies. In general, I think the developers and researchers around the world are going to find that this allows them to pursue breakthroughs by using this GAN technology in all kinds of settings that they couldn't apply it before.